Okay, the next entity we'll be discussing is called a palisaded encapsulated neuroma. And this is a, a solitary lesion that is common in adults, usually on the face. It presents as a solitary, small, rubbery or firm, flesh-colored papule. Histologically, it is characterized by a well-circumscribed nodule, although in some instances you can have a multinodular presentation. This nodule is usually encased by a thin fibrous capsule. And that fibrous capsule is usually incomplete. So in the portion of the nodule directly underneath the epidermis, you might not have continuation of the capsule in that area. The nodule is typically comprised of tightly interwoven fascicles. These fascicles are separated by clear clefts. And you can see the clefting, the multitude of clefting separating these fascicles. That's very characteristic of a palisaded encapsulated neuroma. The cells are made up of these neural cells that have ovoid or wavy or comma-shaped nuclei, particularly when cut in longitudinal section. The cells are very bland, so you're not going to see cytologic atypia, nor will you see mitosis. There usually isn't any accompanying inflammation. So this is a classic palisaded encapsulated neuroma. The term palisaded refers to palisading of nuclei, which can be seen sometimes in this entity, but it's an inconsistent feature. And so I don't typically focus on that feature. You do not see varicae bodies in this entity like you do in schwannoma.